Hello, I'm Sasha. I'm here at the Linpus headquarters in Taipei and we have just got a fancy new netbook. That's the Foxconn SZ901 and this version comes with Linpus Lite Moblin V2 and we're just going to take a closer look at this device right now. Um, Foxconn SZ901, that's a new 10.1 inch netbook from Foxconn. Um, based on the Intel Atom N270 CPU, that means it's a 945 chipset. Comes with one gigabyte of RAM and a 160 gigabyte hard disk. So let's take a look at this fancy red model over here. On the left side, we have the PSU connector, a VGA out, a USB 2.0, and the jacks for the microphone and the headset. There's nothing on the front side, no status LED or anything else. But on the right side, we have a card reader. Two more uh, USB 2.0, uh, your Ethernet connector, and a Kensington key lock. On the back side is nothing but the battery, which we're gonna check out right now because it seems to me pretty small. And uh, here I'm having my battery issue again, but that doesn't matter. Should be a three cell battery, here we go. Um, it's an 11.1 volt, 2200 milliampere, means it sports some 24.42 watt hours. Um, when I'm taking a look at the specification of this model, it should be good for, let's say, three hours max. But there's another interesting thing. Um, what you can see over here is a 3G slot. So um, this comes with an integrated 3G module. So you just get your SIM card in there and you can be connected with the internet wherever you are. What I really like about the Foxconn uh, netbook is um, I can easily access the hard disk, even though that we can unscrew it or open it right now. Um, maybe you can even access the Wi-Fi card in there. And there should be um, your memory slot for a RAM upgrade should be underneath this lid. So yeah, that's pretty well done. And now let's get the battery back on there. Whoa. There we go. And open this glossy lid. As you can see, there are quite some fingerprints on there. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is. Um, it's not only a glossy finish of the whole case, it's also a glossy or a glare display. Uh, as I said, 10.1 inch means um, 1024 by 600 resolution. Uh, it sports a webcam, I'm pretty sure it should be one of these 1.3 megapixel webcams. And the keyboard. Okay, here's one issue with the keyboard. It's uh, for a 10.1 inch version, mm, I wouldn't say small, but let's say average. That means you can still type on it uh, at a reasonable speed, but um, what I can see right now is it's bending a little bit, so I'm pretty sure that this is a pre-production unit. The function keys on top of it are very small, so this is kind of hard for me to use them. Tab key is pretty small, but again, this is a pre-production unit, so, and this is of course the first generation from Foxconn, so there always needs to be some room for improvement. Um, trackpad is pretty decent, yeah, and I like the way that they have separated mouse buttons, so a separated left and right mouse button. This is the first netbook ever that I've seen that has the microphone integrated here on the front. Um, which should be pretty good, you know, in terms of audio quality when you're doing Skype calls or webcam sessions. And we have a couple of status LEDs over here. And yeah, that's, that's what it's all about, the hardware. Um, and before we're getting to the software, um, the build quality is um, pretty decent. Um, that, looks, that looks promising. But again, as I said, um, there might be some minor issues, well, for myself and for my user scenario. It means I can't uh, get along while I'm mobile with a glare display and with a three cell battery because I'm pretty sure this three cell battery will run out of power when you're on 3G in an hour and a half max. So um, let's do a little size comparison. As you know, I'm always using my NC10 with it, my little working horse, for nine months right now. And uh, in terms of size, this um, Foxconn device is way smaller. So um, it's not only way smaller, but I guess uh, even the height of it is a little bit different. 
So, yeah, pretty cool form factor compared to my NC10. And uh, I'm not sure about the weight right now, but of course um, that Foxconn device is a little bit lighter due to the three cell battery. My NC10 comes with a huge six cell battery. And, but again, this is a pretty cool form factor and I like, I definitely like that. And um, I will just, let's open this again to see uh, what kind of operating system is on here. Because, you know, we talked to the Olympus guys and um, they've been cooperating closely together with Intel, working on Moblin, on the Olympus Lite Moblin V2.0. So this is pretty much one of the most advanced versions that we've seen from Moblin V2.0 so far. And um, as you can see, it's just booting up right now. So don't want to give you too many details right now, especially for these guys that are coming over for Computex. Just make sure you're stopping by at the Linpus booth in the Nangang Hall, and um, you can get all the latest updates of this specific version of Linpus Lite Mobile V2.0. And of course, we will also be there and doing some detailed reviews on this and also some interviews with the Linpus guys.